T and M Kids. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more content. Fireman Sam playing crazy. One morning, Norman Price was practicing his new hobby, making paper aeroplanes. He had a special book that told him what to do, and he was following the instructions carefully. Fold along lines E to F and G to H. He read, folding the wingtips on his latest plane. And there we are. Proudly, he held up his plane, then reached for one he had made earlier. Flying ace Norman Price is ready to take to the skies. He beamed, admiring his paper planes. A little while later, Fireman Sam and Station Officer Steele arrived at the shop. Norman opened a window. Fireman Sam. Watch this. He called, waving one of his planes. We haven't got time for any silliness, Norman. Today is Fire Prevention Day. Said Station Officer Steele gruffly. Dillis opened the shop door. Come in, Station Office Steel. Never mind my Norman. She said, waving the fire officers into the shop. Sam looked up at Norman. Sorry, Norman. Maybe you can show me your plane some other time. Sam put a stepladder under the smoke alarm. We need to check and make sure the supermarket is fire safe. He told Dillis. Sam pressed the button on the smoke alarm. It made a loud beep, which meant it was working properly. As Sam climbed down the ladder a paper plane whooshed past him. What was that? Sam gasped. A bat. Shrieked Dillis. And it's caught in my hair. Station office still plucked the plane out of Dillis' hair. Norman Price. He barked, knowing who was to blame. Norman ran out of the shop to hide. Station office steel is no fun at all. He grumbled. He set off for the flood's house. Mike was in his workshop, hammering a wooden from together. He didn't see Norman hiding in the doorway until... Whoosh! A paper plane flew across the workshop and right past Mike's face. Mike looked up as he swung the hammer, and bam! He hit his thumb. Ow! He yelled, sucking his thumb and staring at the plane. Where on earth did that come from? Norman heard a familiar voice shout. Norman Price. He turned from the workshop doorway to see station officer still marching towards him, with Sam not far behind. They had come to inspect Mike's workshop to make sure it was fire safe, too. Station officer still looked rather angry. Not him. Again. Norman groaned and slipped past the station officer before he could get another telling off. Norman trudged off down the road, feeling very fed up. I thought it was fire prevention day, not follow Norman Price day. He sulked. But I know one place I won't bump into station officer Steele. Norman raced over to the fire station. Whoever heard of preventing fires at a fire station? He sniggered to himself as he tiptoed in. Norman quickly found a spare piece of paper and made himself another aeroplane. Slowly, he crept to the fire station kitchen. Through a gap in the door, he saw Elvis chopping vegetables and singing to himself. A chop bop potato bop. I love stew. A slip slop a peely pop, yes, I do. Norman launched his plane. He watched it fly over Elvis's head and turn a loop the loop. That got Elvis's attention. He looked around and saw Norman looking worried. Where had that plane landed? What brings you into my kitchen today, Norman Price? Asked Elvis, slicing some carrots. No. Reason. Norman muttered guiltily, lifting things off the counter and peering under them. Elvis tutted. I know exactly what you're up to. Norman looked up at Elvis in surprise. You do? Yes. I know how much you like carrots. Out of my kitchen. Elvis laughed, waving Norman away. Elvis put his ingredients into the big stew pot on the oven hob and turned on the heat. 
He didn't notice the edges of a paper plane begin to singe and smolder. Elvis came to meet Fireman Sam and Station Officer Steele as Jupiter returned to the fire station. I trust dinner isn't burnt, cried Lington. Says Station Officer Steele as he wandered off to his office. He opened his office door and a paper plane flew straight at him. He reached out and caught it midair. Norman Price. Station Officer Steele bellowed. Norman ran out of the office and out of sight. Station Officer Steele looked at the paper plane in his hand. Hum, not a bad little plane. He said, admiringly. Fireman Sam saw Norman dash across the fire station yard and called to him. Norman, how are you getting on with your aeroplanes? Norman stared at his feet. Terribly. He sighed. Nobody in Pontypandy likes paper planes. Meanwhile, Elvis had gone back to the kitchen to check the stew. Great balls of fire. He said. A fire had spread across the kitchen counter. Fire! Fire! cried Elvis. In his office, Station Officer Steele heard Elvis shouting. Fire in the fire station kitchen! He cried, hitting the alarm button. Sam rushed back inside the fire station and bumped into Elvis, who was speeding down the stairs. Sam! Sam! The kitchen's on fire! shouted Elvis and they dashed to put on their equipment. Norman watched the fire officers rushing about, and felt very guilty indeed. Fireman Sam ran into the kitchen, with Elvis not far behind. Cut the gas supply, Elvis. Sam called, and Elvis switched off the cooker. Sam spotted a fire extinguisher, and immediately began to spray foam over the flames. Hiss! The flames soon died down, Sam had the fire under control. What about my stew? cried Elvis. Sam lifted the lid of the stew pot, smoke drifted out. You've overcooked dinner before, Elvis. He laughed. But never that badly. Firemen are supposed to put out fires, cried Lington, not start them. Said Station Officer Steele. Sam pulled a scrap of paper from the hob. It's a paper aeroplane, said Elvis. Norman Price, said Station Office Steel, turning to see Norman cowering behind him. Sorry, it was an accident, Norman whimpered. Station Officer Steel cleared his throat. Perhaps I should have a word with the lad, Sam. He said. Set him on the straight and narrow, as it were. Don't be too hard on Norman, sir. Said Elvis. As Station Officer Steele led Norman out of the kitchen, Sam saw a fresh paper plane in the Station Officer's hand. In his office, Station Officer Steele certainly had some wise words for Norman. The first rule of paper aeroplanes. He said is to be careful where you throw them. Now, watch this loop the loop. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more content.